Hey there everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. I was unresponsive as I started the video because I was readjusting... Whoa. I was readjusting my timer. Um, I know I said I was going to go back to Jolly Rogers Lagoon to uh, start a cleanup episode, but then I realized, now I remember why I stuttered in the first place, and that was because, well, there was still lots of stuff that we still had to do. So, before we go ahead and do a cleanup episode, we're going to do a couple things in this, ta-da, our new world. Don't forget to collect your notes on either side. We now have all the notes in the Isle of Hags. 100 out of 100. We're missing three jiggies, though. I have no idea where those are. But we're going to find them pretty quick, anyway. Uh, this bubble here we unlocked a couple episodes ago. It will take us sky high to our next world. Woo! Into the sky. Um, this episode we're not going to be getting probably any jiggies. Cloud Cuckoo Land. It's in a giant cloud. Anyway, uh, this level requires a lot of setup for things because as you see but just by kind of looking around here, this world is set up into different islands here and we need to go set up things in many different islands. For example, I don't know if my goggles can see it here, but there is a Kazooie switch right here. You can only open this with Kazooie alone. At least I think that's Kazooie alone. I'm pretty sure it is. So we're going to go there first, probably. Uh, over there is Wumba. First things first, though, we're going to have a look at this guy back here. <clears throat> Fancy a little physical activity, Furball? Well, not really. Yes. Yes, you do, Banjo. Right. I'm Mr. Fit, and I'm really fit I am, so fit in fact that if you can beat me in three events, I'll give you my fitness gold medal. That's nice. It is, actually. So as you can probably see, event one is the high jump. The bar is set at my best height. All you need to do is jump over it to win. So we need to jump over this high bar. And as you can see, well, Banjo alone isn't really going to cut it. Uh, Mr. Fit has three challenges throughout Cloud Cuckoo Land. You have to do them in order, and we will. Now one thing to note about Cloud Cuckoo Land is there are two parts to this level. There's the outside islands, and then there's the big central pillar. Up here we have a little thing, there's a doorway, and there's the rest of the mountain. Um, all the notes in this level are inside the central cavern. So that's nice and easy to know. A good thing to also note is that there are only two warps in this level as opposed to five in every other world. And that warp is inside the central cavern. So starting off we got one honeycomb piece. And we got a weird seed here. Well I found a strange looking... Whee! Oops, I missed. Um, something to note about this level that's actually different from any other level is I actually had to do a practice run at this level. I'm not joking. Um, I should have done a practice run of Grunty Industries, in all honesty, because I really needed that one. But, um, yeah, I chose to do a practice run of this level because this is, it's its a small level, but there's a lot to do in it. And doing it all is very, very complex. So we start in here, we got five notes. This is the central cavern. Look at how big, big it is. Uh, we're gonna quickly see if we can jump all the way over here to, uh, nope. Um, inside the cavern are these little paper things, paper flower things that pop up. Um, killing them gives no honeycombs, so if you get hit by them, well, you're not going to get healed very well, so let's just open that up. Um, another thing about this level is there's a jiggy inside a safe down here. You know what, let's go, let's go down and see it. Let's go down and talk to this safe. Let's not be a sloppy let's player and give you guys info without the proper info. 
Greetings, fleshy ones. Wow, a talking safe. Correct. I'm a Super Stash Deluxe four digit infinite combination reinforced strong box. But four digits only gives you 10,000 combinations. Hey, no one likes a wise guy. It's enough up here. Well, let's have a look inside then. Oh, that might be a problem. I seem to have forgotten my own combination. Perhaps they should have spent a little more on your intelligence chip. Oh, I know, sorry, fleshy ones, but if you can find the combination, I'll gladly open up. So we have to go find his combination, and there'll be four s Oh, I guess these things do drop honeycombs. I didn't realize that. I've never had it happen before. Anyway, <clears throat> around Cloud Cuckoo Land are four tiny little switches that you have to blow up with um, Clockwork Kazooie eggs, and each of these switches gives a different combination. So we'll be doing that throughout the level. Up here we have Mumbo's skull, and I think the Globo is somewhere. I think the Globo is somewhere on the inside. But let's go have a look inside Mumbo's skull. A Jinjo. All right, we got the gin. Oh yeah, that's what the g things in the other thing were. Let's talk to Mumbo. It's a cutscene. This is different. Hello, Banjo. Mumbo has big surprise for you. Oh, I like surprises. All right, no Globo. Nope. Mingi Jongo, craftsman, shaman, impersonator. Har har. As you see, there's no escape and resistance is futile. So we just kind of hit him. Blarg, my elaborate disguise is ruined, revealing my evil sort of cy cyboticness. Whoa. So Mingi Jongo is probably the easiest boss in the game, honestly. There, there isn't much to beating him. All you have to do is kind of... Your rolling attack is your best way to get him when he's on the ground, because, like, you can roll and move at the same time. So if he's doing this, you just go, like, something like that and just take an S shape. Anyway, you only have to hit him six times and he's gone, so... Oh. Hmm. You know, the first time I fought him, like, in my practice file, he didn't warp around. I don't understand why he didn't, but... But yeah. Anyway, he's a pretty easy boss. There isn't really anything to beating him at all in the slightest. Of course, now that I said that, I'm probably gonna die on him. Like, sheesh. Ow. Okay, I only have to hit him one more time, so... He's no big deal. Alright, dodge that. Dodge that. He's gonna warp again. Dodge that. Aha, I gotcha. Zarg, I calculate my chances of stopping you are now minimal. And then his head falls off and he spits out some green oil. Or something, whatever it is. And then we get a jiggy. And he blows up. Okay, so to explain a little bit, there are two mumbo. I did, I don't couldn't show you from the outside because it's hard to see from the outside. Well, we got one jiggy. Um, it's hard to see, but there's actually two mumbo skulls in Cloud Cuckoo Land. One of them has Mingi Jongo, and the other one has the real mumbo. Um, the skull that has the real Jinjo in it is a has Mumbo sleeping up top, and it's actually Mingi Jongo. Uh, the one that has uh, the the uh, Minjo in it is not real. So that's how you can tell the two skulls apart if you don't want to face the boss ahead of time. I, however, did want to face the boss because Mingi Jongo is easy. He actually put up a lot more of a fight than I thought he was going to, so. Oh well. I did it anyway. Right, let's quickly just sidle down this. And by sidle, I mean step. 
Okay, so let's keep going around the side here. Ah, these stupid paper flower things. Anyway, I'll show you guys that first switch and what the rest of them are going to look like. Um, the easy, you could get over here, but with these clockwork kazooie eggs, it is retardedly easy to just shoot one out. Oops, I missed. Ah! Oh my god. <clears throat> I didn't actually think that would happen. <laughs> oh boy, that's embarrassing. Okay, let's let's go back to the central cavern. Let's let's go back. Let's pretend that never happened. Let's just go. Okay, so the first thing actually we're gonna do in this level is I'll show you guys the two ways to get over here. Now over here we have a jam jars location. The way the game intended you to get over here, I assume is to hatch this egg with Kazooie. And inside are these little floating butterflies. Wow, that's a rare Floatus Floatium creature, if I'm not mistaken. So Floatius Floatium, you capture them in Banjo's backpack and you can float with them. That's how you do it. However, <clears throat> and like I said, I don't know if this was actually programmed in to the game, but you can jump and jump and make it over just fine. So we're going to quickly just kind of get in here. I have no idea what the sign says. Plant a seed, watch it grow. Up the beanstalk you will go. Okay, easy to know. Let's see what Jam Jars has to teach us. When faced by danger, jump on top. Now in the backpack you can hop, hold button Z and then tap C up. Safely inside is where you'll be. I mean up C. Up C and then safely inside is where you'll be. So what I just learned there was I just love walking around with the backpack, it just looks so silly. What I just learned is a move which lets me hop inside the sack so I can walk over things without taking damage. Which is incredibly handy as Banjo in this level especially that has certain puzzles built around the mechanic. Uh, Actually, I kind of want Clockwork Kazooie eggs. This level is very, very heavy on Clockwork Kazooie eggs. Okay, well, I guess I'm not showing you that switch right away because I'm obviously not Kazooie anymore. So I can't shoot the eggs. So we're just going to ignore that for now. Oops. Ugh. There we go. Um, there isn't anything I can do over here as Banjo. Not yet, anyway. We'll come back here later. Uh, one of the big things about uh, uh, Cloud Cuckoo Land is um, all the different e entrances and exits to the central chamber. There's many, and you have to know them all. <laughs> well, you don't have to know them, but I mean, it's good to know them because, well, there's so many. And if you don't know where you're going, you'll just end up walking in and out the same entrance like six times. Okay, so the reason I came up here is because I know for a fact that there is a globo down here. So I'm going to go ahead and get that. Oh! So we got globo number one. And then I'm going to quickly jump down here because not only do we have another five notes down here, but there's also something that we can do out here straight away which will help us very nicely. Okay, so I already know what to do, so I'm gonna quickly go Talon Torpedo, first person view, and slam into this Kazooie rock. And then we blow open a hole in the floor, which drains all the water out. And it falls down, and down, and down. And if you remember, we met a friend who had a problem in Pterodactyland. His name was Drippy. I don't know if we actually met Drippy, but... Suddenly he has water in his thing. Yay! Yippee, my fool full of water. Where did it all come from? Hmm... Right, he couldn't move and get water because he was trapped inside. Mmm, tastes heavenly. Well, it did come from the clouds, Dippy. 
did it? You said it wouldn't just drop from the sky. I lied. Just drink it and be happy. Oh, well, I am. Here, take my odd-shaped gold tooth in exchange. And he gives us a jiggy. Now, this doesn't count for a jiggy in Cloud Cuckoo Land. This counts for a jiggy in Terry Dacty Land. So, if we go quickly have a look at our totals, we will suddenly see that in Terry Dacty Land we now have 8 out of 10 when we used to have 7 out of 10. Cool beans. Completing other levels within other levels. I love it. Okay. Now while we're over here, um, let's see what else can we do. There's just flowers there. There's a plant. Mm, I don't think there's really anything we can do over here. Okay, so we are going to take to the sky because over here there's a flight pad. And flying in this level is very, very nice. Because it lets you just... Whoa. Someone's in the air! Defend your jiggy at all costs! So these plants that just came alive, they'll shoot at you when you're in the air. We'll deal with them later, but because we can't right now, so... Um, the first place we are going to go is... Let's just fly. Let's just fly high. I don't care. Um, cheese wedge... Over here is where we'll go. Right by the cheese wedge. Um, now, if you remember that sign, it was something about seeds. Now, we had two seeds at the beginning, and there are actually two places that you can plant seeds in Cloud Cuckoo Land that you need to be able to use. So, we're going to go plant those right now. Like I said, the first episode is a lot of setup. We're just kind of exploring the land and well, setting up. Uh, this we need to hatch with Kazooie, and we're going to go do that right now. And I think I'm going to hatch both eggs right now, because... It'd just be easier. And I'm way, 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 whoa, we're in the central cavern. Okay, so, oh, I kind of just said I was going to go do one thing and now I'm about to do the other. I feel like I'm confusing you guys with my let's play. Sort of. And I keep walking into these stupid paper things. Just like I said not to, because they didn't drop honeycomb. But then it turned out they did, so maybe I don't feel so bad after all. Maybe I just don't give a crap anymore. Okay, so I'm going to stand right here because I'm pretty sure those things won't spawn. And we are going to shoot an egg over here. Now if you look, there's a tiny little hole here which we can go inside and walk around. Now throughout Cloud Cuckoo Land, you guys are going to see four little switches hidden intricately that look like this. And we need to blow them up with these eggs. This one has a 9 on it. And it will open the second slot to our stash. Cool beans. Now, of course, if you guys know anything about Rare, you guys will understand the code to the door. But I will save that for when I have actually completed it. Because otherwise it's slightly well not really spoilerish but I guys I won't tell you guys the code ahead of time so we're not gonna come here yet because we still need stuff to do up here I mean around cloud cuckoo land before we can go over there uh, to my left here there's still a path that goes down but it only needs just some running shoes but we will not deal with that later because that will happen when we need to go visit mr. fit for oh dear oh oh, de oh dear this will happen when we go need to visit Mr. Fit for the third time. And we will. We will need to visit him for a third time. Because, like I said earlier, he has three little challenges that are oh so lovely. Oh so lovely. So lovely indeed. Okay, so like I said, we are going to do the seeds first. And we did one seed that was by the cheese wedge, I believe. Oh god. Okay, so our next one we are going to do is over here. Hiya. There we go. And there's seed number two. And we're going to jump in this and get shot way back over here. And now we're going to go switch out to Kazooie and hatch those eggs. And then I think that will be a good spot to end the video for today.
Um, suction. Lip poison suction. Get away from those. Sorry guys, if you've watched any of my videos in the past before, you will know that I am in love with One Piece. And something I just quoted right there is something that should not exist. It is the One Piece dub done by four kids. It is quite bad. So I do not recommend watching it unless you are watching it solely for the purpose of hilarity. In which case, I thoroughly suggest that everyone here watch it because it is hilarious. It is bonkers, outrageous, hilarious. And that is quite bonkers. Okay, so let's hope that I don't run into any of these paper things on the way up here because right now I stupidly decided that one health Kazooie was a thing. Which she is not. Kazooie is very, very easy to take damage with. Even though she can glide. Alright, let's quickly. Whoops. Oh crap, how do I hatch? Did I suddenly forget? Oh my god, I forgot to how to, how to hatch. Um. Nope. Z. Z and then B. That's right. That is very right. Okay, so there's one. Uh, there's one more that we need to do as well, but I can't see it. So, we are going to do Kazooie's most bullshit ability in the game, and that is fly. Whoever thought it was a good idea to put this in the game was obviously crazy. Cloud Cuckoo Land is very, very, very good for Kazooie, because, well... Kazooie can fly between almost any of the islands as long as it is downhill. So that is that is very nice. Over here we have a whoops. Let's just quickly get out of there. As you see there was a tiny little globo down there. We'll get that in a sec. And of course, let's get another one of these. The one. One nine! Are the first two numbers. How many different numbers are there? There's a f 99 combinations that it could be now. Okay, there should be a flight pad around here, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure there's a flight pad here. I'm not sure at all. No, there's not. Okay, uh, where is there a flight pad? There's a flight. No, there's not a flight pad on that island over there. Hmm, where could I go to find a flight pad? Ugh, there we go. Oh shoot! Okay, there might be one over by the Jello house over there. So let's go quickly fly over there. If there's not, then I am horribly screwed. Well, not really, because I know that there is a platform, because you need to be over here as Banjo alone later. And in order to be Banjo alone, you have to have a flight pad or something, because he has to get off here somehow. Okay. Let's quickly jump in this and fly... Fly back. I'm not going to do that every single time, but I do enjoy doing that a little bit. It is, it is a guilty thing. A guilty pleasure room. Oh, there's a flight pad. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to make it back on, though. Yeah, I will, because Kazooie's retarded. Okay, over here, I saw wh exactly what I was looking for. Whoa! I actually forgot that I could do that as Kazooie alone. So I pressed the button all willy-nilly, expecting nothing to happen, and then suddenly I launched. I launched, I say. I launched. Whoops. Press the wrong button again. Alright, so we've hatched both eggs. We've done this. We've done that. I'm going to call that quits for this episode of Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. 
So in the next episode, we're going to do a couple more things that we have to do as Kazooie alone, and then we're going to return to Banjo, and then we're going to have lots of fun, because having fun in this game is fun, and listen to Kazooie Dragon. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. Yeah.